Hi everyone, welcome to Pebbles. Today we are going to learn mathematics for standard 3rd and 4th. Okay, let me start our maths. First chapter that is a number system, numerals. Okay, let me start from the numbers. So, how to read numbers and write the numbers and so many subdivisions in our topic that is number system okay let me start and that's a numbers or the number system is an important basic level in maths okay for it starts from our counting in your uh, that is uh, age level from 4 you have to start maths by simple counting using your fingers okay count the elements and write down and you are starting to learn how to read the numbers and write the numbers okay up to second standard you you have learned that is two digit numbers and that means now that is one two hundred and that is after 99 that is a hundred that's a three digit number that's a number it's a three digit number you learn from the starting hundred okay let me see from the three digit number to four digit number and five digit number in our that is numerals that is number system okay let me know uh, so many that is subheadings okay by doing different example sums okay let me start that is our topic is number system okay Okay, so in your that is grade level second, okay, are you in uh, that is now you are in third or fourth standard. Let me recap our second standard uh, syllabus that is uh, for 10 minutes about the numbers, okay, from the single digit number that is 0, 1, 2 like that up to that is two digit number 99 that is from 1, 2 numerals that is from 1 to 99 okay that is you have to write the number and number names also you have learnt in your that is first standard level that is o n e 2 that is 100 that is number name and especially i recap the spelling of 11 12 13 14 15 okay recap for that is number names that is 11 okay and 12 okay it should be in your that is you should keep in your mind all the spelling because this is 11 and 12 it's a basic number name you have already known that is 1 to 10 but 11 12 13 some children may confuse because after you are uh, long that is school holidays or any other you have to I have forgot everything that is a number name so simply I have uh, recap your previous that is first standard portion children okay already you have no uh, it's uh, no problem so you have to recap the spelling just okay that is 11 12 and 13 okay 14 and pronunciation also very important children that is 14 okay some children they uh, that is misspelled that is 14 and 40 okay so that is 1 4 is 14 and 4 0 means 40 okay so that is 14 and 15 for 15 that is spelling f i f okay and 16 and 17 okay 18 and 19 okay and that is 20 okay 20 and you should follow the spelling up to 20 you have to write 20 and 1 that is 21 so like that you have make the spelling of 21 to 30 
and i recap the spelling for 30 that is t h i r t y 30 and 40 that is f o r t y that is 40 and 50 i remind this 50 okay and 60 okay and 70 and 80 90 okay and the 100 spelling 100 is that is h u n d r e d okay it here that is h u n d r e d that is 100 okay so you have to recap the all the spelling from 11 to that is up to 100 Okay, just you have to uh, write down in your notebook because it's a revision also. So write the numerals with number names. It's very uh, important. Okay, for the reading, how to read and how to write the number names. Okay, next we move on to the next that is number and where is the that is a uh, where two digit numbers ends. and the three digit number starts so it is important to know that is 1 to 99 okay while well, you are writing the number from 1 to 99 so that is the smallest single digit number okay it's a smallest single digit number listen here that is smallest okay single digit number okay that is the smallest single digit number that is 1 okay and greatest single digit number greatest single digit number that is greatest single digit number listen here that is 9 because it is followed by the next number that is what children 10 1 0 10 so that's 10 is a two digit number so that's a smallest two digit number is a 10 okay do you understand that is smallest two digit number that is smallest two digit number that is a 10 because 9 is followed by 10 and that's a single digit number ends in 9 while well, you say the number <coughs> 1 to 10 that is 1 to 9 is a single digit number and the two digit number starts from where children that is number 10 that is so it is the smallest two digit number 10 similarly you have to follow this 10 to that is 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 91 and 92 and 93 like that so that's a greatest two digit number okay that is greatest two digit number the greatest two digit number that is 99 okay do you understand this because that is 99 is followed by which number that is 100 100, 100. so 100 is a three digit number so this is a greatest two digit number is 99 do you understand okay and next that is it is followed by the number that is 100 that is 100 so this is a smallest three digit number okay smallest three digit number in your that is cbsc syllabus it's a answer the following type of questions so because uh, in cbsc mode of learning you, you can find out the answer from the solution side so read the question uh, that is twice okay 
uh, you can read the question and find out the answer so this is a way to is a easy way to find out the that is the smallest single digit number and greatest single digit number because it is followed it is the last number of the single digit number so simple because it is followed by next number that is 10 is a two digit number so that is the smallest two digit number is 10 okay simply you have to uh, write down the answer by that is a uh, meaningful learning that's a cbc mode of learning that is you can understand the concept and logic sense and find out the solution so it's a correct mode of learning so that is two digit number and this followed by 99 okay similarly that is 99 is followed by 100 this is a three digit number so it is the smallest three digit number up to 100 you are going to write up to that is 200 300 like that and ends in that is a three digit number where to be in children 999 okay so that's a 999 is the greatest three digit number okay greatest three digit number that is 999 okay and this number is followed by the what next number that is 1000 that is 1000 okay so 1000 is the smallest four digit number okay do you understand that is 999 what comes after this well you write the number from 100 to 1000 okay and this is the smallest okay smallest how many digits are here that is four so this is the smallest four digit number okay so we are introducing in the that is the third standard level numbers we are learning from this four digit number okay this is a formation of your that is basic level okay do you understand this and now we are going to learn that is the number system number names and comparison of numbers ascending order descending order all these number manipulation under this that is four digit number up to thousand two and next five digit number that is ten thousand but this is a thousand and the greatest four digit number what is the greatest four digit number greatest four digit number what is this that is thousand so greatest four digit number that is what's the number this is a nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine okay let me introduce this four digit number in our third standard level number okay I will explain in the that is a place value and face value for about the four digit as well as five digit numbers. Okay, let me do. So, that is we are going to learn this four digit number in your third grade that is third standard maths number system. Okay, I will move on to the next uh, heading. Okay, let me do and you should learn that is numbers with number names please recap your number system with number names also so kindly write down the numerals daily it's a good tip for that is any tutors or teachers or if you are a mom okay kindly practice try to uh, guide children to write down the numbers daily at least 100 any numbers that is from 800 to 900 that is or uh, that is a uh, you should give to children that is a, in a random way uh, not like that similarly similarly to that of uh, right from 1 to 100 100 to 200 not like that way so you have to uh, bring home uh, like that 200 and I will like, show you that is uh, 441 to that is 550 so try to practice with children write down the name in a random manner random manner means that is a 
uh, not a f uh, order format because it's a between number of that is 400 and uh, that is 40 okay 440 to that children should write 440 to 500 and followed by this 501 to 550 so the children can able to think the numbers in between the uh, order number order so it's a, a simple tip to the teachers or tutors or mom uh, kindly try to practice the children write down the numbers with number names is a very good it's a, a better way to learn the numeral system efficiently okay so uh, i will go on to the next that is number numbers and number names how to write the number names in a number system that is you are going to the topic that is number names okay i am going to write down the questions here for a few examples and we are going to write the number names of the that is two digit 3 digit and 4 digit also. Now we are introducing the 4 digit number. Okay. So simply that is and Okay. Let me start the, uh, these are the numbers, okay. So, write down the number names means, first you have to read the numbers, try to read the numbers. That is, first one is the three digit number, okay. So, that is 191 and uh, you have to start the number name also, first in your mind, okay, you have to, that's arrange in a place value that is that is ones tens and hundred so that means you have to write it that is ones tens in your mind don't write over this in your mind for example i have i am going to write one sum here that is ones tens and hundred okay for this ones tens hundred and write down the name here that is one hundred okay 100 and this is a two digit number that is while you write the number name of 100 just close your hand with the first digit and say this number this is what 91 okay so simply you have to write the name that is 91 okay that is 191 similarly that is ones tens hundred we are introducing the four digit that's a thousand digit okay children okay that is ones tens hundred and thousand in your mind don't write over here in each and every sum simply doing so you have to uh, otherwise you are write with your pencil or over the question number ones tens hundred and thousand after finishing on uh, this answer and erase it okay it should be practice an easy way to avoid mistakes okay it's a simple way so once tens hundred and thousand how do you say now that is one thousand okay because one what's the number name that's a place value of ones above what we write that is thousand so how do you say that is one thousand okay and simply that the hide the number name with your hand and say now this three digit number because you are very much that is known about the three digit number now because you are in third standard or fourth standard so simply that is 1000 okay so hide the number that is 770 okay so and similarly to that of this number three digit number for this ones tens hundred how do you say that is 999 okay let me move on to the next sum that is ones tens hundred thousand for this 1000 and because here a tens place and 100 place that is no number at all. Okay for this that is 1000 and 1003. Okay simply that is 1003. And next number 1 tens 100,000. 
so 1789 okay and the last sum that is one stands hundred thousand so one thousand and okay and hide the number that is nine zero zero means simply nine hundred so one thousand and nine hundred okay can you understand now we are going to write the answer okay that is one thousand okay seven hundred and seventy okay and that's a three digit number that is nine hundred and ninety nine okay and 1003 1003 and you should know the spelling of thousand t h o u s a n d okay this is a thousand spelling so 1003 okay and 1000 one thousand seven hundred and eighty nine and eighty nine okay and that is last sum that is one thousand nine hundred one thousand nine hundred okay so you should write down the number names while giving the numbers numerals are given and you have to write down the number names similarly that is uh, another question pattern that is a number names are given that is number names are given you have to write the numerals okay so you have to read the number names and write down the numerals that's a another session another kind of question pattern this is a given that is numerals are given you are going to write the number name spelling okay another that is number names are given and you are asking that is to write down the numerals okay this is a figure that is a spelling okay names okay let me do next example sums okay do you understand and practice more and more sums you are asked your parents or teachers or simply activity maths book you can do so many simple structures and simple sums because maths is a daily activity based subject you should do daily at least minimum or 15 sums or 20 sums in this basic one kind of chapter you need more practice it will become you very uh, that is uh, improve your accuracy and speed so you have to practice more and more sums okay and next one is the chapter that is a number names okay and next we move on to the place value and face value okay place value and that is face value okay so what is meant by place value depending upon the position of the number okay and face value it tells about the number itself okay i will explain with one example okay listen here okay and this is the first sum uh, let me write both place value and place va face value value okay that is a, that is one ones tens hundred and thousand for place value first write down this place value depending upon the position of the number okay and underline digit write down the place value of underline digit that is here that is one 
so place value here is the okay that is for 1 that is 100 that is a this is a place value because once tens hundred and always be arrange the number for place value have to move the place value from the right hand side to the left hand side okay this is the correct way to write down the number always be that is right to left so arrange the numbers that is once tens hundred thousand and next level that is ten thousand in your fourth grade level okay do you understand this don't mistaken that is from ordering of number only always be right hand side to the left hand side okay it should it should kept in your mind don't forget to that that is 100 okay and face value means simply write down the number itself nothing it's a simple simply write down the face value of this underlined that is you have to write the number one okay i will show you one more example and that is okay let me do What's the number? You have to read the number children. That is 1003. Is it correct? Okay. Try to read the number numbers also. That is 1003. Okay. So what is the underlying digit? That is 3. So write down the place value of this 3 years. That is so simple. That is this is a 1's place. 10's, 100 and 1000. So here you have to write the that is 3 ones and what's the face value is you have to write down the number itself so simply write down the number okay and next number this underlined digit is one and read the number children that is 1886 okay next that is ones tens hundred and thousand okay for this that is place value that is 1000 and face value is simply write down the number itself that is 1 and fourth sum that is read the number first that is 5005 okay can you read this 5005 okay and one tens hundred and thousand that is a zero ten okay zero ten and face value simply write down this number that is zero and here read the number that is seven thousand and or children seven thousand and thirty nine okay so ones tens hundred and thousand okay and now the underlined digit is 3. Okay. So write down this 3, 10. And write the face value. Simply write down this number that is 3. So can you understand this? That is place value means that is the position of the number. And face value means simply write down this number itself. Okay. And practice few more examples given by your parents or teachers okay next we move on to the next topic that is expanded form and short form how to write this i hope you can understand this this is a very important that is place value chart is very much important topic because uh, if you can understand this only you have to write down the next expanded and short form of maths okay so practice well with uh, some more examples or refer your textbook ncrt school book and practice it and more and more 